Good morning. What divine call is often ignored by church members? Today we're at 1 Thessalonians 5, looking at verses 9, 10, and 11. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. So, what is often neglected by Christians? Edifying each other. Now, edifying is a word we don't hear too much anymore. We don't use it too much anymore. We might hear of an edifice, some large or some strong building, some fortified uh, building or position like that, an edifice, something big and it doesn't just fall down on at a moment's notice. We're called to edify. It's a verb here, edify each other. God wants us to be saved. He's not looking for opportunities to cancel us or to get rid of us. He's looking for us to be in the kingdom. He wants us in. And so he doesn't come, he's not looking for wrath here. He's he's trying to get us uh, plugged in here. So Jesus died for us so that whether we wake or sleep, that uh, whether we're, in other words, whether we're alive or whether we have died and we're in the grave when he comes and he has to resurrect us, either which way, that we will be able to be with him in the kingdom in the long term. So now some Christians, strangely, they seem to spend a lot of their energy tearing down others. But we're called here to build up others, comfort the others, uh, comfort the brothers and sisters, and to build them up. And so this is a, this is a call to the Christian. And, uh, but now there's a pretty fine line here between um, helping somebody spiritually and sort of getting into their space and being a nosy uh, Im- imposer, you know, getting into their stuff. So we need to really be spirit-led. We want to be, uh, we should know that person well. We should, we should, this isn't something that's just going to randomly, boom, happen. We, we need to get to know them, know where they're at, where they're at spiritually. And also we need to begin by getting the log out of our own eye. Now, we might have quite a few logs stuck in our eyes. And of course we're called that, uh, to get that sorted out. It doesn't mean we don't ever help anybody because we never seem to get all the logs out. But, but we want to be right with God and have a connection with somebody so that we can, uh, on this very fine line, help them at times and help them be built up. doesn't mean just giving them uh, fuzzy compliments or saying nice things to them. It means It's going to mean sometimes sort of a, a little bit of a challenge as we come up against some spiritual gaps in their experience or in our own experience. Maybe somebody needs to edify me and build me up, see, so... We want to be available to God. We want to be useful to strengthen our brothers and sisters in Christ. So remember this too. Our first business each day is to be converted brand new ourselves. And a lot of times I think that people don't stop to get reconverted. They just sort of go straight on and jump in the other guy's business. So so let's, let's start the right way. And speaking of that, let's go ahead and pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Help us to strengthen and comfort and edify our own brothers and sisters in the faith. Help us to build them up. It's easy to tear them down, and it's wrong, though, Lord. That's not your plan. Help us to find how we can be a help to others, and help us to be open to receiving spiritual help ourselves, because many times we're the ones in need of spiritual help. So, Lord, thank you for providing brother and sister believers people seeking Jesus, help us to uh, to compare everything by the Bible, but help us to be open. We've got a lot of changes. We want to be in place before Jesus comes. Bless and help us. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we should get to know our brothers and sisters, and earned trust will go a long way to making it an opportunity to uh, to help and be helped on the way to the kingdom. God be with you today.